There's a monster in my room. Where? Under my bed. Oh, see if you can find that. Hello. Oh. Are you looking for something specific or just browsing? Everything in this in this store has a story to tell. No, no, you coddle him too much. I'll handle it. He's got to learn not to be so scared of the dark. He's only six years old. I want my mom. Well, you got me. There's a monster in my room. Where? Under my bed. No monsters. Now go to sleep. I want some water. Jason, do you remember what we talked about? Hmm? You're a big boy now. He just pretended to look. I'll look. There's nothing under there. Now, do you really need some water? No. <laughs> okay. Everything's okay then? I love you, Mommy. I love you more. Get some sleep. Tell you what, tomorrow we'll go find you a special friend. You know, like a stuffed animal or something to keep you safe at night.
good job. All right, let's go. Oh, maybe we'll find something in here. Oh, look at it. It's there. It's all place. Oh, I love it. Cobblestone. Yeah, yeah. cool. Found an elephant. Oh, let's see if we can find that. Wow. Oh, look. It's big. Yeah. It's bigger. Yeah. Or maybe not. Oh, these are cool. Oh, they are. They have all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, let's see, that's in size 12. Come on, come on, Jason. Go. Oh. All right, you gotta stay with me, all right? Oh, cool. Oh, honey, you don't touch anything. Hello. Oh. Hello. Are you looking for something specific or just browsing? Um, just browsing, I guess. <laughs> hey, mister. I kind of like this one. Oh, honey, I don't think that that one's for sale. Oh, it's all right, ma'am. Yes. He's a very special one. He is Patrick O'Malley. He's special, all right. He's sad. He looks like he needs a friend. Well, uh, that's because... Well, well, wait. Yes. I think he needs a little bit of my special attention. Honey, why do you like that one? What do we... Is that a burn mark on his face? Yes, it is. A burn mark. See? He needs somebody to take care of him. Why don't we just keep looking, honey? I'm sure that Patrick is very special. But I think if we find something else, oh, no. he'll feel like... He is very special. Let me tell you a story about him. Not so very long ago, in a place not so very far from here, Georgia had a gold rush that occurred 20 years before the California one. And leprechauns love go now our tale has finished and our stories complete don't be sad dear ones for was the ending not sweet now be off to your home dears run fast on your feet happy halloween everyone trick or treat mommy why didn't daddy call tonight he always does I'm sure he was very busy, honey. I wanted to tell him about my Halloween costume. Oh, he'll call tomorrow, I'm sure. You can tell him then. Ready for sleep? Monster check! No monsters here. <laughs> oh, really? No monsters. I want Zachary. There's leprechauns. Who told you that? Bobby, at school. Oh, don't worry about them. They're just fairy shoemakers. I want to meet the leprechauns. Now that's enough about leprechauns. Go to sleep. This place is like out of some horror film. It's creepy and gross. There were these kids at school and they were telling me some weird story about this house. Weird? In what ways? 
Well, it's... It's... Weird. Caitlin, it's Halloween. They're probably just trying to scare you. Well, my friend Terry said something about all these bloody murders, and I was just wondering... Well, I hate to contradict the all-knowing Terry, but there were no bloody murders in this house. I love this house. I used to come here when I was a little girl. My great-grandmother lived here. The one you were named after. This one's Susan and I became friends. Terry said all sorts of bad things happened in this place. Did you know this place was called Irish Mountain? Yeah, I knew that. Look, it's been a long night. Let's talk about this tomorrow. Tomorrow's Halloween. Can we get pizza before we go trick-or-treating? That'd be fine. We have a right to know if evil, creepy little monsters are living in this place. Caitlin, really? Would I intentionally put your life in harm's way? Monsters. The more sounds she noticed, the creepier the house felt. Just as she was thinking these morbid thoughts. The face appears in the window. One that clearly did not wish to be seen. lurking on my front porch. What are you doing with a knife? Would you like some cider? I just made some. Yeah. I didn't realize Irish Mountain was on your route. That's just, uh, seeing how you're settling in. Changed routes with Dooley and thought, well, I wanted to come bang on your door. Honestly, Susan, some kids at school have been telling my kids these wild, stories about leprechauns committing murder. I'm having enough trouble convincing her we're not moving back to Atlanta as it is. Well, Halloween's coming up. They're focused on scary stuff. Besides, those stories are partly true. Well, not you two. <laughs> we both know what happened that day. They're just stories. I know what I saw. Look, we were little kids. We were probably just imagining things. 12 is pretty old. I think I know what I saw. Well, I have been kind of uncomfortable here. I thought it was because I moved back into my great-grandmother's old house, but there's something weird about that fireplace. What's wrong with it? That's just it. Maybe the kids are right. Because at night, it really gets to you. 
You know, for a lady that writes scary stories, you're kind of antsy. Oh, yeah, well, with everybody talking about what they've been talking about, it's just, you know, made me a little nervous. And, and brought back some memories I'd rather not think about. Do you still have the coin? The one from the cemetery? I haven't seen that since I was like 13. Well, it's why it was chasing us, you know. So you've said. Seriously, Jess, remember the graves? <laughs> Boy, you're stubborn. Well, your great, great, or however many great grandmother, right next to her grave was a smaller grave. It was probably a child. It wasn't a child. Look, I'll take you there right now. We can go look at it. No, I'm not ever going back there, ever. I've got to tell the kids to stay away, and tomorrow I have to tell them something about the legend of the leprechaun. Well, I got to go back to work. You probably won't be attacked by a leprechaun in at least the next two days, I figure. <laughs> Catch you later, doll. Bye. Hey, honey. Is Ireland beautiful? It's green. So beautiful. Wish we'd moved here instead. <laughs> oh, yeah. The kids will love that. Is everything okay? Yeah. Just tired. Almost finished unpacking all the boxes. Hold on, the kids want to say hi. Hey, kids! Come say hi to your dad! Hi, dad. Guess who I'm gonna be for Halloween? A wizard. He's the coolest. Hey, Don't give me a chance. Don't call your brother names. I'm going as an Amazon warrior. <sighs> oh. Wish I could be there with you guys. Should be heading to the airport in about 30 minutes. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, safe travels. Hey kids, go get ready for school. It's almost time for the bus. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Bye, guys. Have a good day. So what's up, Jess? You look really stressed. Oh, it's just the mood. Hurry home, sweetie. I love you. Love you too. Bye. All right, kids, go get your book bags. You don't scare me.
kids. How was school? Cool. Ronnie Jackson got suspended. He brought a bag of frogs and let them loose in math class. Who's Ronnie Jackson? Just a boy in my math class. Is he cute? Well, I thought so until today. Frogs are the creepiest. I like frogs. Of course you do. You're an icky boy. I'm not icky. Cool doll. Where'd you get that? I, um, I went out to the mailbox today, and when I got back to the house, he was sitting on the front porch. You didn't see who left it? Maybe it was your Ronnie Jackson. It's not my Ronnie Jackson. Maybe you might have been if he hadn't pulled that stupid stunt. So immature. Well, Susan's gonna go trick-or-treating with us, so go ahead and get your homework done or no pizza. You, you promised! promised. <laughs> you look great. I need to pay for that. Already done, m'lady. Oh, thank you. Hey, kids, pizza! I love your costume. Thanks. Hey, kids, why don't you take your plates into the kitchen and go get your costumes on? this? It's the creepiest thing. This afternoon when I went to the mailbox, I got back to the house. That leprechaun doll was sitting on the front porch. Very funny, Susan. I didn't do it. It must have been some kid. It wasn't me. Do you have any idea what blood for gold means? Never mind. So did you tell them? It was just like I expected. As soon as they find out, I think I saw a leprechaun. They want to go where I saw it. So take them and show them. Maybe it'll make all this go away. Yeah, they'd probably go looking for it on their own anyway. I know, we chase kids out of that old cemetery all the time. Where did you come from? There wasn't a card, nothing? Nothing. <gasps> that is strange. You know what? This is stupid. That's the end of that. on Warriors. Yours is old. <laughs> it's perfect. Should have made Daniel a leprechaun. Hey, have you guys got your flashlights? I'll go get mine. Yeah, my head's killing me. Anyway, I get a percentage of the kids' haul. Have fun.
Where are you? Dearie, I'll be putting away the supper things for sure. Why are you talking like that? Like what, dearie? You sound like Merida from Brave. Go to bed, Katie. Everything's fine. Getting my hot shot. You can sort your candy in the morning. You're acting weird, Mom. Where's Susan? Right here. Your haul. That's all I could get. <laughs> Pretty meager. Oh, that's interesting. Wonder how they did that. All right, kids. Time for bed. Go brush your teeth and don't eat any candy. No. Time for bed. Time for bed. Go to bed. Brush your teeth. I'll be up to tuck you in. Yeah, were they good? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <sighs> Duty calls. Ah, oh, the perils of being an Amazon princess. <laughs> <laughs> How's your head? Oh, it's better. Thanks. All right, good night.
Now it's my turn, you little green shit. People have long speculated that when the Irish populated the North Georgia mountains, a clan of leprechauns came with them. Folklorists believe the leprechauns, which are said to be surly if not evil, settled on Irish mountain and mined gold from there. Hmm. Leprechauns lost control of the property to a woman named Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly. Said to have married one of the little people. Coal mine is believed to be on Mrs. Kelly's property, also known as Irish Mountain, to this day known as a pound it. I knew you couldn't resist. That's all you've got? require the blood sacrifice of a female descendant of Miss Kelly's in order to reopen a lost gold mine. Upon her death in 1906, Mrs. Kelly's daughter claimed her final words were blood for gold. Shit. Alluding to the person religion. <gasps> Dear God, Jess. Ah! <laughs> 
never found the other two dolls. I want this one, Mommy. Oh, no, honey. Mommy. Why don't we just keep looking, okay? I'm sure that Patrick is very happy here. Come on, honey, let's go. Mom, is that story true? Oh, honey, I'm sure it's just a story. Well, it's... It's a story. But... But everyone has a story. Even them. He doesn't look that scary. There's nothing scary about a leprechaun. Look around, my little friend. We have lots of dolls and toys here. Surely one of them will catch your eye. Oh. Oh, goodness. What happened to her? She looks worse than the leprechaun. Patty is very old. Very old indeed. But she goes back all the way to the 1800s. Oh. Is she porcelain? Porcelain? No. She's much older than that. Porcelain would have a, a shiny glaze. I believe she came from Germany. How she got here, I don't know. How to break? Did you drop her? Jason, honey, that's that's not polite. <laughs> no, no. No, little one. I wasn't the one who broke her delicate soul. No, I'm I'm afraid she was broken long before her face cracked. I'm sorry, I I don't understand. Yeah, I leave for the convention in the morning. No, it's not another doll show. It's a science fiction convention. Will there be any eligible young men there? I'm not sure what kind of men are going to be there, but there will be some brand of testosterone present. Good heavens. Yes, there will be men there. Thank goodness for that. Are you taking your dolls to the show? Some of them. As many as I can, anyway. I'm not gonna look ridiculous. I'll be in costume. Never mind. You know, you're a lovely girl, but you're not getting any younger, Missy. Abby? Yeah, I'm here. You sound distracted. I'm just waiting on a package. Not another doll, I hope. Actually, it is another doll. How are you going to meet any young men? How old are you now, anyhow? 30? 
I'm only 28, and I've... I think I've still got a few good years left in me. Not that anyone would want me. Look, Aunt Sally, I gotta go, okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye. Crystal, it's Abby. Abby Freeman. I'm still waiting on a package to come in the mail. I'm coming to your workshop this weekend and I'm really looking forward to seeing you. Call me back if you can. Bye. Where are you? You frightened me. Where have you been? What are you wishing for, my dearest Abby? My new doll. My Abby doll. And my wish will come true. And what wish might that be, pray tell? To be beautiful like a doll. Like all my dolls. Before you destroyed them. You have me. You have no need of anyone else. I am the only one who stayed by your side after the fire. Everyone else abandoned us. We only have each other. We belong together. Forever. It's here. You're not going to hurt this one.
like it's taking up all the room. Look at this. Was this a freak show? You need to give all these dolls a ride to the junk heap. Why did you shut your yap, you cuck-sucking son of a bitch? Why talks to me like that? I warned you. Look, Doc, that, that doll just attacked me. Take the elevator. Here, folks, I'm gonna give you a hand. <laughs> Wait, is that? that? That's Patty. You remember her, don't you? Yeah, I mean, she looks a little worse for wear, but. Fire, remember? Kind of changed both of us. Shit. Yeah, um. Uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. God, it's so good to see you. Do you like, I don't, are you running off somewhere? Do you think we could get together a little bit later? Talk? Yeah. <sighs> uh, let me give you a hand with this. So, how have you been? After the fire, I never heard from you. I couldn't find you. And everywhere I looked just turned up this dead end. I, it was like you vanished off the face of the earth. Then we moved up north. I ended up going to college up there. No big deal. I didn't mean to drop the ball. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. They moved me to a different rehab facility, then another surgery, and then more. You know, typical nightmarish stuff. Where'd you go after that? I had to move in with my crazy aunt. And now? I was able to use some of the insurance settlement to buy a little house in Granite Creek. Do you live alone? It's just me. Or my dolls. Yeah, do you always take her everywhere with you? Don't judge Patty. She was there for me when no one else was. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna run to the restroom really quick. Well, here we are. So, nothing. I've got that D&D &D panel coming up I gotta go get to, but maybe we can get together after. I'd like that. Great.
Hi, Crystal, it's Abby again. Uh, been trying to reach you. I've been doing some research since last year's con. Rem remember when you said magic is in the air at the convention? I know everybody else thought you were joking, but I could tell that you were talking to me. It's like we had this connection. Please call me back as soon as you can. Stop. That's enough. Crystal is not bad. You think I'm ugly, don't you? No. Of course I don't think you're ugly. But every time I've tried to fix you, you won't let me. It's because we belong together. But now you will save only yourself. You want to change and leave me for him. No, Patty, I promise I will never, ever leave you. You want to leave me ugly and alone. You'd be nice. That's it, Patty. You're coming with me. Mm. Hey. Uh, so I see you brought your little friend. Uh, I thought we were going to be alone. She won't bother us. It's a convention. After all. Yeah. You seem excited. What's going on? There's a workshop that I've been looking forward to. Uh, it's tonight. Anything I might be interested in? Oh, I, I don't know. It's just this lady that I saw speak last year, and I've been waiting all year to see her again. And She just talks about telling fortunes and stuff like that. Oh, okay, great. You seem happy. <laughs> I guess it's just better to look forward to the future instead of the past. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And I love seeing this change in you. I, I love seeing you happy. You're even more beautiful when you're happy. And, uh, brings back memories. I wasn't sure if I should tell you this. But I still have our old picture. The one that we took at the Valentine's Day dance <laughs> back in school. Gosh, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing the fedora. I thought that was still good. <laughs> Uh, Jeremy, uh, are you okay? Sir, are you all right? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I, uh, Do you want me to get the manager? No, no, no need. It's fine. Thank you. Uh, I think I'm just going to go. Uh, wait, I'll come with you. No, 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 no. It's okay. You you go to your workshop, and uh, I'll go get patched up. I'll be all right. I kept our photo, too. How 
dare you? You are out of control. Patty, why did you do that to Jeremy? You could have seriously hurt him. I don't know what's gotten into you. I mean, how could you do this? Jeremy! Patty. It's only you. It's, it's horrible. I had this night. Never mind. I'm gonna go see Jeremy. I decided to tell him I can't see him anymore. Did you hear me, Patty? I said I'm not gonna see him anymore. I heard you, dearest Abby. You have made a decision, have you? Well, yeah, I have. It's too late for me to change. I'm gonna tell him so. I'm going to leave you here so I can talk to him privately. You understand, don't you? Certainly. And promise me you won't hurt Abby. Of course. I'm trusting you to keep your promise, Patty. A promise should not be forsaken. I rejoice in our bonds of love and trust. I knew I could count on you. You're my best friend, Patty. Hey. Can I come in? Yeah, of course. I see they fixed you up. Uh, yeah, they, they left a while ago. I was worried about you. I'll be okay. You cut your lip. I washed my makeup off. I noticed. I like you better this way.
your beautiful Abby. You've always been beautiful to me. I wouldn't lie to you. I do. There's a con coming up in California. We could go together. I'd like that. <laughs> oh, what about your little friend? No more. No more dolls? No more Patty. I'm glad to see you kept your promise, Patty. I did not violate my covenant. I detest falsehood. Do you not agree? Yeah, of course I do. Blessed are the pure in heart, lying lips are an abomination. Is our poor dearest boy broken hearted? Uh, we cleared the air. Everything's good now.
What's going on? You and Abby have been very bad. Do you like her? I made her just for you. <laughs> Jeremy. Aren't I beautiful? My scar is gone. Jeremy. Look what I can do. I have a surprise for you. No, no, stay away. Housekeeping. What a mess. Hey, Mary. Come check this out. What's going on? Somebody left us a present. It's just more junk for lost and found. Not what I say. I say finders keepers. Someday those sticky fingers of yours are going to get you in a lot of trouble. I'm keeping them. Stealing is stealing. That's all there is to it. Now, these are gonna make a nice present for my granddaughter. Come on, Jason, let's go. Come on. Honey, let's go. What? Honey? What? What? Come on, you promised. I know I did, but I tell you what, we can go somewhere else and look because I just don't think this place has what we're looking for, okay? Mommy, please. Honey. What about? What about a stuffed animal? We have lots of those. You know I, I, excuse me. Sir, I think we made a mistake. Well, I'm sure he'll find something safe there. Oh, uh, none of them have stories, do they? I mean, like the ones you told us. Yes, 
Well, everything in this, in this store, in this world has a story to tell. He's a nice, nice boy. He deserves a nice, safe home. Excuse me? What's his name? Well, he doesn't have a name yet. You're going to have to give him one. Clowns have always just made me afraid. Ever since that movie, The Poltergeist, came out. Oh, that movie nearly killed the clown doll business. I mean, clowns are supposed to make you happy, supposed to make you smile. Yeah. And so are leprechauns. Touche. You can stay in my room with me. I think you'll like it. Well, clowns are supposed to be protectors of happiness. Protectors of of smiles. Protectors of good wishes. They don't like unhappiness. They'll do anything they can to protect them from such things. Well, I guess we'll take him. Good. We'll be best friends. I'll name you Giggles. Giggles? That's a perfect name. Now, I'll tell you what. Giggles would normally sell for $30, but What's that? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, Giggles wants to be your friend, and he wants to protect you. So I will only sell him for $20. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, my little friend. Be safe. Bye, Giggles. That is it! <sighs> I'm gonna teach that kid some discipline. Tom, no! Sit your ass back down now. What the hell is it now? I... Yeah? I'm scared. Of what? Giggles told me there's a monster in here. Really? Well, let's take a look. Nothing in there. And, uh, doesn't look like there's uh, anything over here either. Huh. Hey, where's the dog? Where's the goddamn doll? What? The one your mom spent $20 of my hard-earned money so we wouldn't interrupt us every damn night. Where is it? Under my bed. Under my bed. So, thought you'd hide it from us, huh? I'm gonna take that sissy clown and I'm gonna throw it in the trash and I'm gonna give you a good... <laughs>